Everybody, let's get started. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's fine. Hello, Tanya, TJ, Kasim, Rod. How y'all doing? Hope everybody is having a great evening. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. All right, all right, all right. Hey, excuse me. We're gonna get started right away. Tucson, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna get started. Let me, and please, as you come on, if you could just uh, please make sure you mute your phone just to handle any background noise. But of course, if you have any questions or um, feel, feel free to unmute yourself and, and ask your questions. My name is Greg for the people who I have not met. Uh, Greg Whitmire, I've been a, I'm an IML student, okay? Emphasis on student. I am a student of the academy. I've been a student of the academy for a year and a half. And uh, shucks, it has changed my life all right more ways than one more ways than one so um and we're going to talk about um, a couple things tonight but at the top of the agenda i guess the the um course i mean the the session tonight i think the topic was uh trading uh with confidence and success and we're going to get into that but i always start in the same place and again just reminding folks um that um trading is easy 
okay? Learning the, uh, you know, the technical skills associated with training is just like everything else that you've learned in life. You know, of course, it's new when you start. And, you know, again, the more you practice, the more you stay around it, the more you're exposed to it, the uh, more familiar you get with it. And then, of course, you start implementing those things that you're getting familiar with. And then all of a sudden you start, you know, things start clicking. Training is no different. Okay. It's no different. Um, but the other thing, other side of this coin is that there are um, people skills, not people skills. I say like soft skills that are associated with training as well. And some of those soft skills we're going to talk about, and those those are like I guess those those skills I kind of call uh, learning how to master yourself, because that uh, in my experience, and again I can just you know focus on me in this regard that that has been um, uh, one of the greater uh, well just as great as learning how to you know make money every day, learning how to master myself in certain situations. Uh, again, that's just an ongoing ongoing process and I know we're all like life learners but let me just let me just not get caught up on that too much and let me just get started what I always want to start with and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go through this relatively quickly but it's in the same vein that I'm talking about and that is let me make this bigger that is a, a mindset and let's understand who we are who the participants in the market are oftentimes um, people like you and me you know we're referred to generally as uh, uh, retail traders okay and I reject that because uh, retail traders get their money taken retail traders are in the market as food retail traders uh, don't know what they're doing retail traders chase signals retail traders uh, you know just form a lot of bad habits on and, and they're they're intentionally taught to you by the institutions that are set up to ultimately take your money okay excuse me one second so i reject that i'm an institutional trader and and i i i, I encourage you to adopt that same even if you don't fully understand it but again just you know, adopt that title for yourself because you want to learn how to trade with a banker's mindset with an institution's mindset this picture here on the screen it's a deep the depiction of the uh of the uh, uh the participants in the market okay and the shark and the we know where sharks are. Sharks are killing machines. They're feeding machines. They they, they 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 I don't know if they sleep, but you know they they live and breathe to eat. Okay, so uh, same thing with the hedge funds, the, the large banks, the um, uh, the big central banks, and all of those the the uh, um, uh, people that control all of the currency worldwide and you know the, the different currents. I mean the different countries the different you know like in our country is uh it's got the fed chair uh powell every country has a somebody in a similar seat that makes decisions that, that affect the currency etc cetera, etc cetera. and those things you know of course influence the uh the 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 power or the the strength of that particular currency to the negative to the positive all those kind of influences play into it all of those big influences are represented in this photo as the shark okay and the shark goes out and eats every day the shark goes the shark is what moves the, the market when candles appear in the market it's not because you have a 200 hundred dollar account it's not because you have a 500 hundred dollar account twenty thousand dollar account it does nothing okay these these represent transactions in the market okay when when you know a trillion dollars worth of wheat is sold between countries that's those are transactions you know from bank to bank transactions when arms deals are done um uh you know around the world you know get multi-million dollar transactions that that's what builds candles that's what that's what you see that's what's moving the market what we're learning how to do and again, the mindset, this is where the institutional mindset comes in. We're learning how to, to, uh, to know where the moves are in the market, just like the, you know, the bank moves are in the market, so that when the, when the, um, the big movers and shakers, when they eat, we, we eat. And back to the picture for a minute, those fish swimming along the side of us, those are pilot fish. Now, we're, again, we're not the shark, but we can be the pilot fish. We can learn how to swim alongside the shark and eat when the shark eats. That's institutional thinking, okay? And not institutional in a bad way, but, you know, banking thinking. I guess it's about probably a better way to put it. Banking thinking, okay? Think like the banks. Think like the banks. 
And the next thing I just want to talk about again, in the same vein of, of mindset, which is so, so important, because like I said, trading is easy. Sometimes these other areas aren't present different challenges for us. Uh, the next thing we have up here is the word discipline. And it probably means a lot of things for different, a lot of people. We're all the adults on this call. And I know we've, you know, lived full lives up until this point, And we've had to practice that, that the um, character building, uh, discipline in uh, multiple areas. If you've done anything and done it well, done it successfully, you know, uh, or just, you know, done it to the best of your ability, um, you've had to apply some discipline. We have to apply discipline in everything that we do, you know, we're, uh, certainly in our relationships, in our, you know, jobs, dealing with, you know, um, uh, parents, children, wives, husbands, whatever. We have to be disciplined, especially, like I said, if, you want, if you've ever been involved in sports or, or any other thing, it requires some discipline. You have to do things a certain way uh, in a certain number of times and then go back and do it again and do it again and do it again in, in order to get good at something. And then you have to be able to control yourself in the midst of doing things. So again, you establish some guidelines for yourself, establish those things that are working for you, and then you stay within those parameters. And then your failure to do so is a lack of discipline. And in this market, it'll cost you. So that's why I say these are some of the, you know, some of the soft skills that uh, uh, sometimes when, you know, we're new getting into trade, we, we, we're maybe not aware of and, and give into um, when we're trading and a lot of times it will influence our results. The next thing I just want to touch on, and I'm trying to move through each of these relatively quickly. Uh, next thing I want to touch on is that, again, another soft skill, faith. And I know faith represents a lot of things for different people, uh, but they know in the context of, of trading, and I try to keep it in the context of trading, that, you know, faith represents, you know, my ability, ability to stand on my training, okay, and not just be emotionally swayed because of a candle or because of a price or because, you know, um, because I see this, that, or the other in my account that might otherwise inf trigger my emotions to do something that just doesn't line up with the facts or, or line up with, you know, my trust in myself that I've done a good evaluation, I've done a good an analysis of, of the market, I've checked all my tools, you know, everything is in place, and despite what I see, I'm going to stand on it. That, that's my faith in the market because, again, those impulses against your faith oftentimes can cost you money because, again, you know, you, you may sound strange, but you have to find yourself to a point where you develop to where you are trading. You're like a robot, you know, devoid of emotion when it comes to trading in this market. Because again, the more emotion you bring to the market, you're increasing your chances of, of reacting to those emotions. And oftentimes we don't get the desired results because we're reacting to emotion and not act, actually applying discipline and faith. And then the next area is that of patience. Patience pays, patience pays, patience pays, patience pays, patience pays. Okay, you had to be patient for me to get through all of that, right? And it will pay you, all right? Uh, that's, you know, like a cliche, you, you may probably, if y'all been around here more than a week or so, I'm sure you've heard that already, but it is absolutely true. You have to be patient in this market. Allow price to come to you. Don't chase the price. Don't, again, don't give in to your emotions, give in to your um, well, that's it. Don't give in to your emotion. Uh, in some regard, like I said, that's where it becomes a job of, of, of managing yourself. Because again, depending on what you see, um, it may, again, trigger emotions to have you react. And that reaction could be, you know, just, you know, something that pulls you into a decision that you really, really didn't need to make at that particular time. How many times any of you guys that have traded already, how many times have you guys gotten out of a trade only to see the, you know, the next candle or two or the next direction that the, 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 the trade turns in that direction from which you thought it, it wasn't? Because again, you just didn't apply enough patience and you allowed your emotions to, uh, you know, to, to, to overrun you because again, you were afraid of losing a couple dollars. Okay. Um, so there you go. We got discipline, pace, patience, and faith as our, you know, kind of like our pillars here for, um, pillars here for our, our mindset. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing that and then I'm going to, I'm going to jump, move, move, move. All right. All right. So look, let's, let's move to the charts. And I'm going to talk about the uh, ultimate. Well, I got at a high level. I want you guys to know we're going to talk about the 
harmonic scanner. But I'm kind of do a little top down um, as we get there. First of all, uh, bookmark, you should, well, let me, let me say this. But and again, I'm just going to assume that there's somebody who does not know what the harmonic scanner is. Uh, and the harmonic scanner, let me go all the way back. The harmonic scanner is our, our pr proprietary tool um, in the IML Academy. And, okay. And it's on, once you go to your, uh, you know, log into the Academy, and yeah, I got to log in again, sorry. That's been sitting there a while. But it's our proprietary tool that comes with the Platinum package. Everybody has this, okay? You can locate it one of two ways. You can just locate it here from the area. I just clicked on strategies. And then um, if you have those oh, loading, it comes here to the center and then just scroll down a little bit and you will see highlighted this uh, little uh, icon here called harmonics. You can click on that and then it will load, but, or you can just bookmark harmonics.im and it will load for you, all right? So that's where it is. Now let's talk about what it is for a second because I, I um, and again, I'm assuming somebody that doesn't, I, that covered where it is or how to get to it, I'm assuming somebody doesn't know what it is. The harmonic scanner is a, is a, um, is a chart, it's a tool that scans the market for uh, and displays certain um, uh, patterns in the market. I don't know why nothing's coming up, but it displays certain patterns in the market and uh, it, it uses those patterns to develop then uh, a set of parameters for where we get in the market, for where we get out the market, um, and then your stop loss. I'm not sure why no charts are showing up here. Oh, it still says loading. Let's give it a second. Well, I'll just talk through it. But anyways, you, and I encourage you to, what I'm about to say, like, don't take this lightly. Because the more I use the, the, the harmonic scanner, the more I really realize the intelligence that's built into this tool. Okay? And now, by contrast, by contrast, I'll just switch over here to, I'll oh, wait for that. By contrast, I'll just switch over here to a, a trading view chart, okay? And a trading view chart is just, you know, it's, um, it doesn't have the same intelligence built into it. It's more of a manual chart that you can come in and, you know, again, it's very effective and very useful. It has a ton of different tools, but it doesn't tell you what the harmonic scanner tells you, which is, let me see, we got to get a chart. I know, I know the market's closed, but I would still expect something to uh, to show up here. There we go. All right. So uh, uh, again, develops these these pattern these patterns, and then it's designed to based on these patterns. It's designed to uh, tell you certain things like again where the entry in the market should be. Let me make the arrow. I'm gonna just. Hope, I'm not sure how. Oh, I'm not sharing. God dang. Somebody stop me, y'all. Y'all stop me. Y'all yeah, don't see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I was in the chat telling you that uh, we can only see okay, you. Okay, yeah, don't stop reading the chat. Just, just haul out. Thank you. Thank you, though. Thank you. Yeah, just let me know. Sorry, guys. All right. So you didn't even see that it wasn't showing before, so that's good. All right. So anyways, the chart is loaded. This is, again, a harmonic scanner. What I'm saying about, of course, it, you know, it, uh, it's designed to. And that's what you got to understand. This is, this is a smart chart. You got smart phones, smart cars, smart toasters, smart refrigerators, everything else. This is a smart chart. It already has built-in intelligence that, that gives you information out of the box, no you know, nothing other than an IML subscription, and you know nothing else about trading, you can open the harmonic scanner and get an entry, a take profit, and I'll just close this, at this and a stop loss. And that's all, and again, if you if you started your, your training at all, you know that's all the values you need. You just need these three values to trade, all right? You need an entry, you need a stop loss, you need a take profit. That's all you need to trade. And that's exactly what the harmonic scanner delivers on every one of these pairs. And it, all, and it, sh it shows you um, a variety of brokers. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight brokers that um, you click on any of them. And they just, some of them, you know, a, some of the charts are duplicate across um, the different brokers. Some of them do display different charts. Or, or different pairs, I should say, or analysis on different pairs.
but but you know again that's the that's the power of this when i say the power of this this has it has built in intelligence to the level of of fibonacci it has built in intelligence to the level of 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 um uh, Elliot's wave it has built in um uh intelligence to the to the extent of support and resistance is all built into this chart it's all built in so again if you're if you're a new trader if you're a um seasoned trader um a, a intermediate trader it really doesn't matter you should be learning how to use and leverage this this tool so so i'm so i'm, I'm gonna jump off of this for a second because the next where I want to go, I mean, the segue from this and the key word I'm saying is learn how to use this. OK, what I just described is, yeah, one way to use it where you you select it. You, you let's just say step one, you select a broker. And I'll just go with the GBE just or let's just say FX choice as an example, just, you know, just remote. And then uh, and then 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 select a pair. And if if that pair has not if it has not triggered then it could be an opportunity for you and you just follow the letters and when i say triggered that means that this letter d the letter d will either be at the bottom or it will be at the top if it's at the bottom it's going to correspond with the entry at the bottom and your take profit if the take profit is above the entry that's going to be a buy we'll find a, a sell in a minute but and then you just kind of, you, and again, you, you, this is where practice makes perfect. This is where your discipline, your patience, and your faith come, come, comes in. Because again, you can, you'll look at this real quickly and see how far price has gone. In this instance, price came down and it already tapped into the, the entry, went up here, and it went a little past TP1. So again, on face value, uh, where you can see it also retraced, but on face value, it, you know, that that's a that's a win okay it doesn't again only prom not there's no promises you, you know you don't have to get anything out the market but your highest probability for a successful trade is always take profit one take profit two uh, the probability lessens and then take profit three it lessens even more but again you you get in the academy you get with the educators that teach this stuff and then you'll you know you'll get an understanding of what what the targets are etc but that's just a, again just a brief overview of the harmonic scan and how it works just out of the box and uh, i don't have i don't have personal stats on using the harmonic scan right out the box but i've always heard that it's and i, I do trust this number that it's about 80 percent accurate just like this just knowing nothing else just coming in here picking targets and you just look at this if you were just you know, got in where it said entry and on this one. It's just, and again, it's just a random, this, it, that, that wick is where you would have got in and came up here. That's a, that's 18, that's 18. Oh, sorry, let's go up here. So we got about a 19 pip trade, 20 pip trade out of that. Okay. And again, you'll understand, if you're new, you'll understand where your targets are, et cetera, et cetera. But again, all you want to do is get the TP1, TP1, go to the next trade. All right, wait, I'm sorry, I should have just measured it to TP1. So from entry, the TP1 was 16, I'm sorry, let's say, yeah, about 16 and a half, call it 17 pips, all right? Decent trade, all right? So um, now, I, the segue I had a minute ago was, again, I said, learn, 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 all right? Uh, clearly, there are educators on the uh, site. If you don't know where they are, let's do that again real quick. Not gonna spend a lot of time with this, but you, well, one, in the academy, there is a video in the academy on how to use the harmonic scan. Let's, let's find that real quick. Everybody should be already, already you know, again, you, you go through your 100, 200 series first, okay? But there's a, uh, hopefully I won't go too fast, let's see. I think it's down here in the, I'm looking at 200. Um, market. Market geometry, that's all, that's all. Um, and that's what, that's what the harmonic scan is, market geometry. But I think there's one, why harmonic? Here you go, write it down, write it down, write it down, tell somebody, FRX 412, how to use a harmonic scanner. How to use a harmonic scanner. How to use a harmonic scanner is right 
in your academy. Okay, it's right in your academy. You got look at this information, y'all. This is this is your textbook to wealth. Okay, these videos are your text are part of your chapters in your textbook to wealth. Your textbook to generational wealth. All right. So, uh, and again, that's a that's a that's a start. Okay. Now to dig in and get reinforced on this on a regular basis. You come over here to the go live and you find an educator. Again, the, the area is that of harmonics. Harmonics, which just refers to geometry. You find the library for harmonics. Click on it. It's going to show you the schedule of, of uh, educators and teachers on harmonics. Okay, these are the men and women who teach on harmonics. All right? My go-to is Manny Q. You can take anybody. This guy just fits my schedule. Okay? Uh, if it if it didn't, I'd be trained with somebody else. But you know, and I'll say, lucky for me, he does because he's an awesome educator. But let me just show you this, specifically as it pertains to. I'm jumping off of here for a second, guys. I'm clicking on his actual. I'm gonna drop this. I'm gonna drop this link in the chat. This is his his um his site. Give me one second. I'm gonna drop this in the chat. Chat. And this is his, uh, this is Manny Q's education site, or part of it anyway. So that's in the chat. Um, and um, yeah, take, you know, this bookmark it, okay? And get go to it when you get a chance. And again, go through this. This is, again, just a tremendous resource. Now I'm just gonna scroll down here. Again, this is where you can, you can find the Academy Bootcamp organized. You got to go through the boot camp, you just, especially if you're just getting here. But specifically to the, and again, it goes in the pattern. It's just so nicely organized here. The Forex market patterns, uh, market geometry series, and then correction. But here, here's where I wanted to get to. Specialized scanner strategy series. So there was just that one way. So like I said, what I showed you here on the scanner, here on the scanner was, again, just out of the box. Just out of the box, I don't know nothing about nothing, but I do know when I open this thing up, I know how to read, I know how to find entry, TP, stop loss, okay? Boom, I can trade. But if you want to uh, uh, um, uh, further increase the probability of your success, then you start digging into or understanding, well, hey, you know what? In addition to or on top of, I can go from 75, 80% accuracy to potentially, you know, uh, uh, 85 to 90 percent accuracy. If I learn how to identify or or exercise or implement, I should say, specific strategies using the harmonic scanner, and that's what's listed here. That's what's detailed here. And you don't need all of them. You don't need all of them. You only need one, the one that works for you. You, you know what I mean? Some of them may, you know, just something's going to connect with you, and you're going to say, oh. That's pretty easy. I like that. And it may be different for you. It's going to be different for me. It could be different for Rod, uh, Tanya, on and on, you know. But um, I just throw that out to let you know that there are multiple ways, effective way. All of these ways work in order to inc further increase, let me just close this one, further increase the probability of having successful trades. We use the harmonic scanner. Now, um, I'm going to I'm gonna go back again because this leads us to the next thing I wanted to kind of talk about when I talk about increasing the odds. We use what's called, um, and I don't know if any of you guys have heard about it, but it's called scanner sauce. Okay. And this is another, another strategy that was developed and introduced by the same guy, the same guy, Manny Q. I don't, he hasn't added it to his list right here yet, but it's on his. It's on his Go Live channel. And I'm going to put this link here too. And just go on to favorites and the um, scanner sauce. I'm going to drop this in, your, in the chat as well. You check this out. Check this out. Now, what I'm putting in your hands. 
I, what I'm putting, what I, that link, if you watch it, if you don't watch it, you're on your own. But if you watch this link, I mean, I'm sorry, if you watch this video and it breaks down everything, it's not complicated. It's, 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 it's formatted and easy to understand. And this is a way to take, again, with your, um, uh, uh, I say minimum, I'm not, now, now, if you guys have heard me or been with me, you know I, I push the education very, very hard. You've got to, got to go through the education. But this particular strategy is easy enough so that, again, even as you are continuing to develop your understanding about all those bigger topics associated with trading, like price action and support and resistance, um, 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 uh, uh, shucks, well, I'm drawing a blank on what I was going to say. The, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, support resistance. Oh, uh, you know, different entries. And that's not even what I was going to sell. Oh, yeah, price reversals and, and all those little nuances that are associated with, with price action. Um, uh, market rebalance and then price, I'm sorry, uh, search and destroy, it, it, all those, those, you know, maybe slightly intermediate to advanced concepts, you can still work toward learning those and participate using the harmonic scanner and get, uh, my results are around 90% with this, okay? My results are about 90% with this. So, um, I don't see why it would be any different for you if we're both doing the same thing. So let me just go through this real quick. Like I said, I'm just going to give a, give a, go through it on a high level because I'm going to challenge each of you all to watch the video for yourself, okay? Watch the video for yourself. Set your scanner up. All, everything that you need to set your scanner up and set the, um, uh, the indicators is in that video. Watch it, stop it, set your scan, set your indicator. Watch it, stop it, set your indicator, okay? Get everything in place and then watch it again. Watch as many times as you need to clearly to get an understanding of it. And you will be able to use this pretty much right away, okay? Because it's going to tell you step one, step two, step three, step four, all right? But we'll just go through it real quick right here. I can, and again, I'll just use this one. Let me try to make it a, let me see if there's any that, actually haven't triggered yet. Let's see. All right, this is a, this is a, a probably a good example. All right, we'll use this as a as a pretty good example. Let's see. Actually, yes, yes, yes. So we can use this as an example. Okay. So you'll see in the video for yourself. But let's just say um uh, let's call this um Let's say one. Okay, let's just say one. Uh, oh, yeah, you're, again, I'm not, you're, you're on, he does a great job with you explaining what the indicators are. So don't get caught. Sorry, guys, my dog barking. The wife probably just coming in the house. But you'll, 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 he'll break down what the McGinley's are, what the, the stochastics are, what the awesome oscillator is what the DMI is, all of that will be broken down in the video. So I'm not going to get into that level of detail here. But uh, basically, step number one, and uh, you know what? I'm not even, I'm just going, I'm not even, I'm going to do it just with colors. I'm going to do, I'm sure how simple it is. Just, just describing this whole technique, just using colors. I'm going to try to make it as large as I can, make the chart as large as I can, so you can see this green line that my arrow was pointing to, that's a McGinley. That's a, that's a trend line, a, a form of a trend indicator is a McGinley. It's a, and that green one, I will just McGinley, just to say green line, I won't even worry about putting a number to it or nothing like that. When the, uh, oh, let's go back to the, the scanner. So the, the scanner tells us when we look at this chart, all right guys, uh, hopefully, this isn't one of those nights my wife sits in the car on the phone and you know pipe down as soon as you come in. But anyway, we can look at the chart initially and know that the scanner is calling for what? It's calling for a sell because our entry is here, our take profit is below entry. So you know the idea of what the scanner has already determined for us in advance because the scanner is smarter than me. This that the price is 
is likely to go in this direction. That's the, that's the analysis from the scanner that we're going into a cell. So what we need to do is find the first cell candle that has closed beneath the green line, okay? And then we look for the second indicator to see, let me grab another arrow, because these are different, actually, different, uh, I'll put one there. We'll talk, we'll, I'll use each of those in those sections to see why. Okay. All right. So this, this top section, we're looking for what? We're just looking for a cell candle, okay, to close beneath the green line. So we're looking for the red candle to close beneath the green line. And then step two, we, we then look and see the second indicator, again, red. We want to see if the red line is on top of the blue line, Okay. And then in this case, we want to see uh, uh, the uh, awesome oscillator is are the um, uh, the bars associated with the AO, whether or not they're red or blue. And then we come down to this this next section, and we want to see whether or not the red is on top of the blue. So, and let's just and I should have put it like this, because all bottom line, what we're trying to determine is who's in control. Are the sellers in control, or are the buyers in control? And, what, and the scanner said we're selling, right? So it would make sense that we want the sellers to be in control. Remember, we're not controlling nothing. We're trying to do what? We're trying to just swim with the sharks, okay? We're just trying to swim with the sharks and eat when they eat. So the sharks are swimming, in, uh, and just in this instance, we want to swim with the sellers, okay? So, um, but we got to have all these things lined up. This cell candle, red, line red, uh, this line red, this line red. That's all we're looking for. Who's in control? Whoever's on top is on control, okay? In control. So in this, on this candle, we don't have everything that we want. I'm going to put a vertical line in here. Control B. I'm going to pick that up. Give me one second so you can see it better. Turn it black and make it a little dash line. Okay. So we got that. We got that, we got all that lines up, but this one doesn't line up. And this last section, it doesn't line up because there's no little bit of criteria here. Let me put a horizontal line here. Let me darken that up. Give me one second, I'll make that gold. Gold is my favorite color. Not really my favorite color, but I like gold on the charts. So um, we're gonna just change this to 40. It's all explained in the video. It's all explained in the video, okay? So we, we got certain criteria. So guess what? This doesn't meet our criteria on this candle. So what do we do? We just wait. So I go to the next candle that closed beneath the green line. That's all I'm looking at the colors. I'm not worried about indicators. I'm not worried about what they mean or nothing. I'm just gonna keep this really, really simple. I'm just looking to see who's in control. So I still got my sellers in control. I moved this over a little bit. Well, I'm just, again, I'm just using my eyes, but I'm using the, the, the lines that just a vertical assistance for this demonstration. And I still got red in control, and, and I still got red in control, but I need, I need the black line in this area, the DMI, it's called the ADX. I need the control arm to be above the 40. That's why I put that little um, gold line that, that represents my, where I really need price to be. I'm not sorry, where I really need the control arm and my red to be in control down here, all right? So let's just fast forward. So basically, you see that condition is not met until here. So I would have to wait until all the conditions line up. Once they line up, the sauce is ready. Oh, come on. Sorry, guys, the, the chart just kind of flipped on me. I don't know if it has anything to do with the market being closed or wasn't expecting that. Sorry. But we're, we're, we, will, we will manage. We will not allow that to uh, do anything but get started again. I'm gonna load my chart and load my scanner sauce. And again, when you're going through the video, I'll show you how to set not only just set the chart, but you'll also understand how to load, save your settings. And so every time that you come back, you just load it, you just reload what you had. Where was where were we at? Yeah, we were here. Let me turn this. This is extra. I put this extra. We we'll need those. Okay. All right, so let me just fast forward. Let me just, let me see if I can drop. We would get in on this candle, control V. Control V, 
try to move faster in case it's going to mess up on me again. All right, and again, I just put, I just, this isn't necessary. I just, I just use these little visuals just to help me, you know, keep my place in the charts. So, so boom. So, so here's a, here's a go. Okay, this is a go, and this is all you're looking for now. This is all you're looking for, and you, and again, these situations come all day, any day. So you don't have to, you don't have to quit your job. You don't have to, you know, stay up late. You don't have to. Whenever you have time. You can check the market and use this little checklist that you'll have. And again, you, when you check the video out, you'll see how simple it is to set this up. And then you just wait for these conditions. And they occur all day. They occur all day, every day. I'm going to show you, I'm gonna show you how you know where this, when the scan will kick off in a minute. But based on this, now I got to go. So now I trade. I, and, and guess what? So I get in. I, get in, I probably would have gotten in on this next candle. Let's put a, I probably would have gotten in on this next candle and sticking that up and change it to a little bright, slightly brighter color. I probably would have gotten in here where, right by where this pink is. And then again, because the, my next target, what's my next target in the market? I could just go to TP1, but that's so close. That's only a couple of pips. But I go down to what just, I'm just using what the scanner says. I just use my next target. So now I got a 17 pip. 17 pip target to TP1, and you see it already hit it. So, so again, so it already gave me that. And plus, it's probably going to give some more, but you never, you, you never, we don't have the ability to know what the market's going to do. So you learn to take what the market gives you. If you get into a situation in your mind, you say, I think, okay, stop yourself right there, all right? Unless you have some technical analysis to back up, why you think or you know or i feel as though you know those might be good entry statements but again you need to have something technical to back it up because remember i said we don't trade off emotion don't trade off of what you feel don't trade off what you think trade off what you see okay trade off what you see and what supports your technical analysis and part of your trading rules you'll have targets I, my target specifically with this type of trading the back testing I've done, I've proven to myself that 15 pips is a given. It's, it's pretty much a lock that I'm going to get 15 pips. So guess what my targets are? 15 pips. Okay, not 16, not 17, not 14. It's 15 pips. Okay, that's my discipline. That's the point that I, I, I again, I'm, I'm out the market. Okay, I'm out the market. Now, there are additional entry points associated with this. And again, that's covered in the video. I encourage you to watch it. And we it's, it's kind of this little cross here, but I won't go into that. I encourage you to watch the video for those details. But the point that I'm making, or trying to make anyway, is that this is easy for anybody to do. Okay? Now, you don't stop learning. You don't stop learning. Because again, this is, this is, this is a gateway to earning consistent uh, 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 to, to our topic, which is a trading with confidence and success. Okay. Trade. This is, this is, like I said, this is an entryway to trading with confidence and success for anybody. Okay. For, you know, for, like I said, you know, I've been trading for a year and a half. You think I wouldn't do this? <laughs> you know, like, you know, I'm too sophisticated now. Nope, 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 nope. No. I'm doing this every day. And like I said, from September the 1st through, uh, today, um me and uh the couple of people that i've been doing this with for during that period of time we're we're, we're at like 90 percent uh 90 percent wins that's pretty incredible and again it can change every any day but again all i'm doing is being disciplined now now i'll tell them myself i got in a trade today uh that i didn't win and you know why i didn't win because i got in too soon I didn't, I got eager, I thought, see, I broke my number one rule. I thought, this. I'm gonna point, point down here in this section here. I didn't wait, I did not wait, I'm gonna grab an arrow, sorry guys. I did not wait for this, this third condition, I, fourth condition actually, I didn't wait for it. I wanted to get ahead of it, I, did, I guess I, I succumbed to my emotions, my FOMO, my fear of missing out, thinking that, you know, practice is going to take off. 
and I didn't wait for this condition to get met down here, and and it and it never did. Okay, it, it, what I wanted the the direction because all of this has to do with direction and momentum, strength of momentum, etc. You'll learn exactly what they are, but but basically I didn't wait. Bottom line was I didn't wait till the sellers. I'm sorry, I think I was buying on that particular um, pair. I didn't wait till the buyers were. Uh, clearly in control. All right. So I wound up having to close a trade and a loss. Not a huge loss because I don't take huge losses. Um, you know, again, we lose small, win big. Um, so, but anyway, needless to say, the reason why it had nothing to do with the Forex, it had nothing to do with um, the strategy, it all had to do with my lack of discipline in that instance. So, you know, again, we got to be honest with ourselves and, um, you know, put ourselves on blast. In the intent of, of getting myself better and hopefully uh, having you guys avoid that same that same mistake. So um, there was let me see. Uh, but again, like I said, this is this is how you trade with confidence and, and consistency. And like I said, if I can trade at ninety percent, and again, it's not me. You follow what I'm saying? It's not me. It's just following these steps that's got me at ninety percent. So I, you know, I'm as I'm as dumb as I was when I came in, but I can I can. All the steps and steps are uh, working out for me. So um, that does anybody have any questions up, up to that point? It's, it's it's like I said, it's all detailed in the um, in the links that I sent you. Um, seems like there was something else. Oh, okay. Let me let me stop there for a second. I got a bunch of stuff in the chat. I'm sorry, I didn't, I'm not real. No, let's see. Okay, not really. Um, did anybody have any questions? Feel free to unmute yourself and ask a question. Then I'm, I'm just I'm gonna say one more thing, and because um, I got a question about something yesterday, it was kind of uh, the person the way the person asked it, it made me think that it also may be of um, a question other people have as well. But before I do that, anybody got any questions? Okay, um, if, if something comes up, let me know. So let me just say this, this is kind of out of, um, sort of out of the blue a little bit, <laughs> but somebody asked me yesterday, they said they didn't understand what the candles were, okay? And I, I said, hmm, good question. I, clearly the person has, you know, is, is, you know, is, is new to this, but I, I get it because we're always looking at candles, we're always talking about candles, so yeah, what is a candle? Okay, I was like, wow, that's that's a really you know question. I guess I've kind of come to take 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 for granted. But um, if one person asks it, it's probably not um, the only person who needs to know that. So let me just say, and again, I, if this is too fundamental for folks on this call. I, I apologize, but I think somebody might need to hear this. So, anyways, what is a candle? A uh, a candle, in essence, the candles represent price so a candle is just a um a, a, a visual representation of price that's all a candle is okay a visual representation of price in the market at a specific time and of course it doesn't have to be a candle because you can change the you know those physical representations of price they can be a bar Okay, the physical representation of it can be uh, with these like what they call hollow candles, the Hakanashi candles, which kind of have a specific part of, in the strategy that you'll um, and I should have turned those on, but anyways, and then they, you know the uh, lines as a, again a physical. I'm sorry, you know just yeah the physical representation of price area. And then this other one, baseline. So, so again, a candle is no more than a, 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 a visual, I said physical, visual representation of price. And it just makes it easy for most of us to be able to know where price is based on where the candle is. Okay? So hopefully that, you know, I, you know, shed some light or supports Anybody who's, you know, understanding of, you know, candles and that kind of thing. And, of course, the, you know, um, if we just take this last candle, 
This is what this is where price is in the market right now. Where that little dash line is. That's where uh, I'm sorry, right here, right here. Um, Excuse me, Pop. This is, just let you know what uh, your uh, screen is not sharing. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. All right, sorry about that. So, so none of what I was saying a minute ago about the, the different depictions of price. Okay, so I'll go through that real quick. So, like I said, the candles are just a visual depiction of price. Okay, sorry about that. Um, and again, it can be displayed in a number of ways. You have bars. Again, that's just a visual depiction of price. They don't, you know, some this, is, you know, then you have hollow candles, visual depiction of price. Candles just represent price. Some people, you can you show lines on the chart. No candles at all. Again, just but again, that that's then a, a visual representation of where price is, and that's all we need to know where price is and where it was, and then uh, based on analysis to be able to to uh, make an analysis with the assistance of the harmonic scanner makes it real easy to know where price uh, might go. All right, where it might go, where it, it, it there's a probability that it might go in a particular direction. So over here, we come to the uh, the chart. You know, again, there's a this this. You know, again, we don't have that advantage here with the um, uh, with the trading view charts. We don't have that this advantage. We, you know, again, it's, it's ways to determine or again to um, uh, um, uh, have a, you know determine probability of price and, and that kind of thing. Um, but again, those are kind of get into in, intermediate and sl slightly advanced skill set. Uh, but again, for for the rest of us to you know, again want to you know trade consistent, um, we can just come here and it's already done. It's already done. It's already done. So, anyways, um, I didn't have anything else, guys, to really talk about. Hopefully, there was some some value in that. Uh, I encourage each of you all to to look at those links that I that I gave you. And um, uh, get with somebody, you know. Get with if you're not working with somebody already. Get with get, that's like the last few morning. Just me and uh, you know somebody else on my team. We we we've been back testing this, you, you know. So so some of it is you know just just well I don't know. It, it was helpful to me, and it might be helpful to you again. If, if, you know if whoever bought you in the business, you know. Uh, if they're not on this call, then, and again, after you look at the video or something, you go, hey, let's check this video out with me. Maybe we can, you know, maybe we can use this, you know, uh, or just, you know, check it out and realize that, you know, again, you can hear, and, and let me just say this, and again, I'm not, what I'm about to say, you know, hope nobody, you know, takes, takes it the wrong way, but if, and again, big if, if you join IML Academy in order to become a uh, consistent and profitable and independent trader, then these are the kind of the stuff I'm talking to you about tonight. This is the kind of stuff that you need to be digging into because this is your path forward. All right. Now, there's nothing wrong with taking signals if you participate in a signal group and that kind of thing. Um, but you know, it can handicap you at the same time. All right. Because you don't know if you don't know where the trades are coming from. Not that they're not good trades. I'm not saying that. Those are the, they come. I know where they come from. They come from uh, professionals. Um, uh, uh, traders and you know folks have been doing this you know master traders I, I get that uh, but if you don't have an understanding of how the trades are developed if you don't have an understanding for yourself as to um, uh, not just how to develop but you know again um, you know what's what's how that particular uh, uh, educator thinks how that particular educator um, develops their targets that, again that everything that just kind of goes into building a trade when you have some if, if for instance if you're stuck or if you need to look back at the trade and try to gain some understanding for yourself it's just helpful to know that it's, it's beyond helpful you really have to have some insight as to what's going on and what i just showed you a moment ago really and i'm gonna be careful to share again this time if, for instance, in this instance, if if the momentum started going against you on this particular trade, you would know. You would you would clearly know because again, you know why you got in the trade because your indicators told you uh, supported your decision. Okay, and if at some point uh, um, 
your, your, your ability, your decision to stay in the trade is no longer supported by the indicators, you'll know that too. But again, if you're, if you're just, um, and I won't say just, because again, I'm not trying to minimize it, but if you're, if you're signal chasing, you don't know. You know, you don't know where to get in a trade, where to get out of a trade. Um, you, know, you, you just don't know. Some educators or some of the, the people who source those trades do a better job than others with keeping people updated with respect to, you know, when to move your stock, how to manage that particular trade once you get, once you get into it. And then, you know, some, and again, that's, again, it's not a knock, it's just an observation. Some do a better job at that. And, and that was my discussion last week. You know, again, you have to learn how to manage your trades once you do. Once you go blue, it's on you. Write that down. Once you go blue, it's on you. It's up to you to manage and, uh, and, and not let a good trade go bad. So, anyways, um, with that, I'm, I'm going to end on that. And, and thank you guys for, for getting on. I'm always humbled that anybody would take the time to um, listen to me. <laughs> so, I really appreciate it. I do. I really appreciate the bottom of my heart. So, if you have any questions or anything, you guys can get at me, you know, Telegram. Uh, or uh, I'll put my number up real quick. Give me one more second. Let me, let me shut it down. I got it right here. Should have had that handy. Right here, right here. And I'll be careful to share this. And it should be low. Yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me. So um, uh, you got your name, got your number. Oh, uh, yeah, my Instagram. My website, SavvyTrader1.com, YouTube, SavvyTrader1. So feel, feel free to, you know, reach out. And um, with that, I'll bid you all night, good night, good weekend. Margaret opens again on set Sunday night. Uh, get with this sauce, you know. And, and again, if you're not trading live yet, you can, you, can, you can start identifying or looking. Oh, 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 got to show you one more thing. Sorry, guys, one more thing. This is, this is. I gotta show you this because you need to know when the um, when the um, when the uh, let me see you gotta know when the scans trigger right wouldn't that be helpful to know when a fresh scan is triggered so let me share let me make this enlarge back and there is a and this is to my knowing this is new. Okay, this is Hoff M15 H1 H4 D1 Harmonic Pattern Alert. Okay, Harmonic Pattern Alert. It's like 8,500 subscribers, and this is how you know. This is how I know when a new scan hits the uh, harmonic scan. This is extremely helpful. Extremely helpful to know when a fresh pattern has delivered to the market. And you just find that pattern. And now it's not all when when a new pattern is and why this is important because you want to catch the patterns before they before they run away before price you know kind of gets in gear and runs away. Uh, so this allows you to, to come to the come to the to those um, uh, pairs before price takes off. So now is the, is the, is that pair going to be automatically ready? for the sauce execution probably not but again this allows you to at least stay ahead of it and you will know from some training and some practice you'll know oh well i'm 15 minutes away or i'm, I'm uh, this i should probably look back at this particular uh pair in 15 or 30 minutes or you'll get a sense as to because again you have all your indicators there you'll know how close or far away they are from from confirmation and this right here Combined with the um, uh, combined with the sauce, uh, man, like I said, you know, ninety percent, ninety percent trading, ninety percent success. So that was the last little piece I wanted to just kind of throw in. I almost forgot that, but that is important. Now, where do you get this from? You get you can um, you guys need to go to Manny's Pip Talk and find. Uh, man, this let me see. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's do this real quick. I'll put this in the chat too. I want you to have everything. I want you to have everything. And it's probably easier for me to just start again. Bear with me, guys. It's gonna be worth the wait. So you got your sauce and you got your uh, uh, got your alerts for when the new scans run. Those are those. That's a that's a that's all. Oh, that's incredible combination. 
So you guys, if you're just getting here, like I said, you get here at a good time. Now, um, if you don't have Pep Talk, you need to subscribe to whichever educator you follow. Like I said, I follow Manny Q, so I subscribe to him. And let me just scroll down a little bit and find, and I'll drop the link, or you can just come here and get it. But um, it was posted some time ago. So. Oh, and then he threw on divergence on top of it. This is crazy. Um, I think it was a little bit before this. Um, all right. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not finding it right right away. I don't want to hold you unnecessarily because you can come here and get it. Oh, I think it's right after this little stuff right here. Scan soft trades. Scan soft trades. Um, Sorry, sorry to hold you. Oh, here we go. New harmonic pattern alerts. Here we go. Yep, yep. Let's uh, copy that. And I will drop that in the chat. Don't say I never gave you that. All right. So get that. Get that out the chat. You got three links there. You got to go live to Manny. You got your... Uh, the specific video on the scanner sauce, and then you got this um, link to join this this particular Telegram group, so you can get the scanner alerts. I don't know how long stuff stays in the chat after I get off, but all right. So that's in the chat. Hopefully you got it. If you don't, you can go. Like I said, if you didn't get it, just go to the Manicure Pip Talk and scroll down and you'll find it. So anyways, uh, good night, everybody. It's 10 o'clock. I, uh, I appreciate you guys getting on. Have a wonderful weekend. You and your family stay safe and um, look forward to talking to you guys soon. Good night, everybody.